Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss a scenario based interview question on send to tracer option that is available. Let's get started into the topic. You know in activities to log a message, we use a method called as log message. If you want to know about logs, I have posted a video, you can go through that. So if uh, I had taken this an activity, in this sample activity, you can say log message is a step and here I have given messages error found. So in our loggers, uh, we can check this message will be there when we execute this activity and there is option called as send to tracer. This particular option is given for us to send this particular message to our tracer. So let's see how it works without this option with this option. Now without this option, I'm just running this. Run. You can see this step has been executed, but there is no message. Now I'm closing the tracer. I'm selecting this option, save, and I want to run this again. Now when I have run this, you can see error form message has been displayed over here. So how this checkbox is working in the back end. There is some OOTB function that is send debug message to tracer. This actually helps us to send our message to the tracer. This particular function accepts two parameters. One is message and another is rule set. This rule set is nothing but the, our, where our respective rule has been there. This is there in my checkout. That's why you can see as the login ID. And in the Java step, you can see they are calling this as a debug event and they are passing this message, which is rule set and string message. And these are the OOTP parameters that we need to send to this function. So in this way, Praga is using this respective send debug message to tracer and that option is available for us in this uh, activity, in this method. Not only here, if you are tracing some custom event type, then if you want to send these messages as well to the tracer, you can use this respective function and you can play around it. So adding a custom event type to a tracer, I will be covering in my next video. Stay tuned. Thanks everyone for making this channel more successful. Please subscribe, share, like and comment on the videos and provide feedback.